Every year, 66 women in Kentucky die from cervical cancer. Compared to other states, Kentucky has the seventh highest cervical cancer incidence in the nation and the third highest death rate from cervical cancer. We've created this video, 123 PAP, to educate Kentuckians about cervical cancer prevention. Every death from cervical cancer is a tragedy, especially because we have a vaccine that can prevent cervical cancer. PAP tests are also available to all Kentucky women that can detect abnormal changes in the cervix so they can be treated before they become cervical cancer. That's two ways to prevent cervical cancer, and we all know that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. To help fight back against this deadly disease, we're doing a special project aimed at improving cervical cancer prevention education in Kentucky. This project involves asking you to watch this DVD to explain why you should ask your provider about HPV vaccination and having a screening for cervical cancer. I'll check in with you at the end of the DVD to provide you with more information. But for now, sit back, relax, and listen to what some of your neighbors here in Kentucky want you to know about preventing cervical cancer. Human papillomavirus, or HPV, is the most common sexually transmitted disease in America, and 44.8% of American women aged 20 to 24 years old currently have the HPV infection. More than 98% of cervical cancers are linked to an HPV infection. Many women who get cervical cancer when they are older likely got HPV in their teens or 20s. For some women who have HPV, the virus will clear up on its own, but for other women the virus won't clear up on its own and cervical cancer can develop. There is no way to predict which cases of HPV will clear up on their own and which cases will develop into cancer. One of the scariest things about HPV is that you don't normally have any visible physical symptoms, so there's no way to know if you have it. That's why it's important for every woman to take steps to protect herself by getting vaccinated with the HPV vaccine and getting regular pap tests. You never know whether the odds will be on your side. Let's talk a little bit more about what it means for your health to get the HPV vaccine. The vaccine protects your body against becoming infected with the most dangerous and common types of the HPV virus, the types that cause most cases of cervical cancer. In fact, you should receive the HPV vaccine because it helps protect against the two types of HPV that cause 70% of cervical cancer cases. The vaccine comes in three doses, and you need to receive all three doses to be fully protected from the two most common types of HPV known to cause cervical cancer. If you only receive one or two of the doses, then you may not be fully protected against these types of HPV. Getting all three doses is key to preventing cervical cancer. Getting the HPV vaccinations is an opportunity that our mothers and grandmothers never had to protect themselves from HPV and cervical cancer. My grandmother passed away in 1977 from cervical cancer before the HPV vaccine was developed. I never even had the chance to meet her. If this shot had been available to her generation, I may have had a chance to know her. The HPV vaccine is available to our generation. It is safe, effective, and has been tested by doctors for more than 10 years. Ours is the first generation that has access to two ways to fight cervical cancer. Make sure the HPV stops with you by getting all three doses of the vaccine and regular pap tests. Some women feel pain when they get the HPV vaccine shot, and some women experience slight discomfort when getting a pap test, especially when getting their first pap test. But not protecting yourself against cervical cancer is much worse, as the treatment for this cancer is extremely painful and in some cases can lead to a painful death. Also, cervical cancer attacks not only your cervix, but also your internal organs, making it more difficult to have children and even lead a normal life. Kentucky women are more likely to be diagnosed with cervical cancer compared to women in the rest of the United States. These cancers could have been prevented with the HPV vaccine and regular pap screening. A little discomfort now through getting the vaccine and having a regular pap test can prevent a lot of pain later.
Especially with cervical cancer, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Making the choice to begin protecting yourself against cervical cancer is as easy as three vaccines and the pap test. Now, after you receive the first dose of the vaccine, you need to remember that there are two more doses to go. As you may already know, the HPV vaccine is given in three injections over six months. You got the first dose today, you'll get the second dose in two months, and you'll get the third dose six months from today. Making sure you get all three doses will allow you to get the full benefits. So it's important to know when you get the next dose, and if possible, schedule an appointment with your healthcare provider so you don't forget. If you forget to get your second and third shots when you're supposed to, it's okay. You can still go back later to get your second and third doses. But the best protection comes from following the recommended schedule. If you are sexually active, when you talk about this with your partner, they may question your desire to get this vaccine. They may have questions about your commitment to the relationship. One question you may hear is, why do you need an STD vaccine if you are in a faithful relationship with me? While this is a valid question, you need to remember that this vaccine is not about anybody but you. It's important to keep in mind that your body is the one thing that will stay with you for the rest of your life, and your desire to protect your body from cervical cancer by getting this vaccine is a good thing. Unfortunately, relationships change, partners come and go, and life happens, but your body will always be your own. In addition, it might be helpful to remind your partner that all three doses of the HPV vaccination, along with regular pap tests, are the best way to protect yourself from cervical cancer. If you are in a long-term committed relationship, this vaccine will help you to stay healthy for the long term. Your partner should be supportive of you making this decision to take care of your body. Remember, the HPV vaccine is not a substitute for your yearly exam. It's only half the battle. That's why completing your HPV vaccine series, three shots over six months combined with annual pap tests is the best way to protect your reproductive health and prevent cervical cancer. After you receive your second and third vaccine shots, if you haven't begun having your yearly pelvic exam and regular pap tests, you should. A yearly exam is recommended for all sexually active females or women aged 21 years or older. An HPV infection increases the chance that abnormal cells will develop in the lining of the cervix. These abnormal cells look like spots on your cervix and over time multiply and develop into cancer. So it's important to look for these abnormal cells in the lining of the cervix before they have the chance to become cervical cancer. A pap test is the tool used by providers to do this. To do a pap test, your provider will use an instrument called a speculum. This instrument is used to insert into the vagina in order to visualize the cervix well. A small soft tip like brush is used to take cells from your cervix. It's simple, fast, and the best way to find out if your cervix is healthy. Doctors and nurses do pap tests every day, and they will walk you through the entire process. Because nurses and doctors are so experienced doing pap tests, they know how to maintain your privacy so that you won't be exposed. Your entire lower body is draped and the environment is very professional. While you might experience some slight discomfort during the procedure, the test only takes a few seconds and doesn't hurt. The regular pap test screening combined with a full series of HPV vaccine are the best tools doctors and nurses have to protect against and prevent cervical cancer. You need to remember that it's important that you get all three doses of the vaccine. So let's talk through some of the hurdles you might have to jump over to do this. First, this is a vaccine that prevents you from getting a sexually transmitted disease and some people are uncomfortable talking about this. You can tell them that this vaccine is used to protect you from a very common STD. Unlike other STDs that are spread through bodily fluids, HPV is actually spread skin to skin. This means that HPV can be spread through sexual foreplay like oral sex, and you don't necessarily have to have intercourse to get it. And because it is known to cause cervical cancer, doctors recommend you get the vaccine as early in your life as you can. 
This includes women who aren't even sexually active yet. In fact, many medical associations recommend you should get all three doses of the vaccine before you are sexually active, and that's why the vaccine is approved for girls as young as nine. The second reason you might worry about coming back for your second and third shot is because the first shot hurt. And yes, it's true. Many women have complained about the pain from this shot. Women have also discussed such side effects as dizziness and stomach aches. While these things aren't pleasant, keep in mind that getting this vaccine is a necessary step in protecting yourself from cervical cancer. Think of it this way. A little pain now saves you from a lot of pain later and could even save your life. It is so important that you receive all three shots to get the most protection against HPV. So don't let a little pain or discomfort scare you from coming back for your second and third dose. Make the commitment and get the second and third dose. The third reason you might have trouble getting back for your second and third shots is that you need to figure out where and when to get them. But just remember, the shot is quick and will only take a few minutes of your time. Make time for your health and your busy schedule and commit to all three doses by scheduling your next vaccination today. Thanks for taking the time to watch this DVD. We want to make it as easy as possible for you to get your three HPV vaccines and return for routine pap testing. Take the next step and talk with your provider about HPV vaccination and pap testing. Once again, thanks for taking the time to be a part of this project. Make the commitment to get the first, second, and third doses of the vaccine, as well as your yearly pap test.